morning everyone how are we doing this morning hope you're okay hope you've been able to eat breakfast at least hope you've done your medical checkups immediately you cross 40 trust me it's something you don't want to joke with always see your doctor if you have any issues if you're having headache don't look at it as ordinary headache anything can trigger headache trust me see your doctor buy this portable um, um, blood pressure machine it's very portable handy like this I have it at home always check your blood pressure you don't need to always go to the hospital to do that just buy it the rates that people are dying these days is something else in the last one week we've lost three people in Hollywood three actors have been traumatized the one that shocked me the most was Mafia for La Beasters. We were told he fell in the bathroom and died. Sento B is dead too. Came like a bad dream. Up to now, we still don't believe what is going on. It's almost like a film trick. Now, the reason I'm making this video is to advise us, please, when people die, respect them respect their vulnerable state some a lifeless body cannot tell you wait let me strike a pose for a picture wait let me strike a pose for that video you want to make a lifeless body is vulnerable at the mercy of the people tending to it and sometimes because of the trauma because of the pain people don't even know what others are doing around the lifeless body of their family members. I have never taken a picture of a lifeless body. As a matter of fact, I don't like going to mortuary and even when I do, I stay very far. I don't like remembering my friends when they are lifeless. I like to remember them with the memories that we share, the good times, the beautiful photos, the beautiful videos, the laughter. That's how I like to see them. I don't like seeing them with their eyes shut, closed, or opened, or however it is they died. That is me. Even when my friend or any of my friend is sick and I go to visit, I don't take a picture of them on their sick bed. That's because they are not in their best state. They are not in their best state. I remember when my friend, Sikira Tusindodo, was sick. I visited her in the hospital a lot of times. As a matter of fact, I was taking food to her. I never took one picture. One. And that's because I didn't like the way she was looking. I loved the way she was before she fell sick. So why would I take an ugly picture? I don't want to remember my friend like that. I don't want to look at my friend like that. I don't derive joy in seeing my friend like that. And so I never did that. And you know... I wonder sometimes people visit you in the hospital when you are sick they won't even tell you they want to snap you they just quietly take that picture you are an enemy not a friend trust me and it's something if somebody does to you you will not be happy why do it I saw Mafia Falabi's lifeless body and I wasn't happy to see him like that I preferred to remember him the way we know him handsome cute always happy always excited always making lovely videos i didn't like that lifeless body picture that that person posted whoever did that you didn't do right you did something very wrong please change this video is for all of us to change there's nothing you need to achieve by posting somebody's lifeless body some of you will go up to the coffee when they're doing lying in state you will be taking pictures of the person inside the coffee and you want to post that that's not fair I made a post yesterday and I said, look, if I ever die when I'm 120 by the grace of God and you come to my funeral or you go to the mortuary to see my corpse and you take my lifeless picture, trust me, I'll wake up and kill you. Because I want to be remembered as the all beautiful queen at all times. I want the picture that I have released to the public to always be the picture I'll be remembered by. Not a lifeless body without clothes. Please stop it. It's not fair. I hardly post 
funerals and dead people on my page. I rather celebrate them. I celebrate my colleagues. I celebrate my friends. I even celebrate people I don't know when they achieve things. That is the kind of person I am. And that's the kind of person we should all be. Celebrate people when they are alive, not when they are dead. You take a front row and be crying as if that person was even your friend. You might even be the one that caused the person's death, but you're crying like you are the one that is being hurt the most. You even cry more than the owners of the person. Let's, let's stop. This uh, hypocrisy is, is too much. Stop being an hypocrite. It's not right. Please, when people die, remember they are vulnerable. Stop taking pictures and videos in their vulnerable state. It's not fair. Just remember that it is this person's turn today. It will be your turn. You too go die. You too go die. Just remember that. I love you guys.